Welcome to the second video in the series on Bluetooth Low Energy Technology. My name is Mohamed Afani, and in this video we'll be talking about the Generic Access Profile, or GAP for short. In the previous video, we went over an introduction to BLE. We covered some of the basics of BLE, such as comparing BLE to Bluetooth Classic, we talked about the benefits of using BLE, the different applications, and what you can expect in terms of speed and range. Before we get into the Generic Access Profile, or GAP, we'll cover some other high-level concepts in BLE. We'll talk about the different modes in BLE, the types of applications based on these modes, as well as go over the different RF channels in BLE. Now, at a high level, there are two different modes that a BLE device can operate in. It could either be advertising, where it sends out data for other devices to discover, or it could be in connection mode or connected to another BLE device. Now, the difference between the two is that in advertising mode, the data is sent in one direction only from the broadcaster. Whereas in connection mode, the data is being transferred between the two devices. So the data transfer is bi-directional. Now keep in mind that in order for a connection to be established between two BLE devices, the broadcaster has to advertise first and allow the connection to be established from the other devices that discover it. So it has to go through the advertising stage before it gets into the connected mode. Based on those two modes, there are two main categories of BLE applications. We have applications that are broadcast oriented where a device may simply be broadcasting data for others to discover it and maybe not allow a connection to be established with that device. On the other hand, we have connection oriented applications. In that case, the two devices will be connected to each other. They will be synchronized and exchange data on a regular basis. Now, this allows for more complex use cases and applications, say for example, a smartwatch or a fitness tracker connected to your mobile phone. In BLE, there are 40 RF channels that are utilized by the radio. They line the range from 2402 MHz to 2480 MHz. And these channels are separated by 2 MHz center to center. The three of them are used exclusively for advertisements. Now, these are called the primary advertisement channels and they're highlighted blue in this diagram. These channels are channels number 37, 38, and 39. And the remaining 37 channels, which are labeled 0 to 36, are used for data transfer during a connection, but they're also used for what's called secondary advertisements, which were introduced in Bluetooth 5. The generic access profile, or GAP for short, defines two main aspects. One of them being how devices discover each other, which includes scanning and advertising, and the other being how devices connect with each other and also how they manage that connection afterwards. To expand on that, some of the specific aspects include the different roles of devices, the different modes that they operate in, as well as the advertising and connection parameters, and last but not least, security. So what are the roles within GAP? Well, there are four different roles, and they're split up into two symmetrical pairs. First, we have the broadcaster-observer pair, and then we have the central-peripheral pair. And a broadcaster is a device that sends out advertisements, but does not allow a connection to be established with it. On the other hand, the observer is the device that reads these advertisements and looks for the other devices, but also does not initiate a connection with these advertising devices. Now, on the other hand, the central device is a device that looks for devices that are advertising but initiates a connection with these devices and same goes for the peripheral the peripheral device is a device that advertises but and also allows connections to be established with it now keep in mind that a single device can play multiple roles at the same time so for example your smartphone can be in the central role while communicating with your smartwatch but it can also act in the peripheral while communicating with the PC, and it can do this all at the same time. The GAP roles we talked about describe the type of device. But then within GAP, we also have different modes. And a mode is a state that a device can switch to in order to achieve a certain goal. So it can be temporary. Some of the different modes include broadcast mode, where the device sends out advertisements, but does not allow a connection to be established whether it's discoverable or not, connectability, whether it's bonded to another device for a secure connection, 
And last but not least, the periodic advertising mode, which was introduced in Bluetooth 5. In the next video, we'll get into Bluetooth advertisements. We'll talk about the different advertisement types. We'll also talk about the different parameters in advertising, such as the advertising interval. And then we'll get into the different types of data that can be included in the advertisement packets. And finally, we'll go over some of the new features that were introduced in Bluetooth 5 that are related to advertisements. To learn more about Elasis, provider of the world's most advanced Bluetooth analyzers, visit elasis.com. Have a need for training or consulting services? Then contact our training partner, Novelbits, at novelbits.io. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learned a little bit more about BLE. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.